Did you expect that? Outside? Talk about what Tom Smith did for you. The, the offense was struggling until he got out there. Oh, well, he, he did what he expected him to do. Uh, you know, Spell struggled uh, securing the football early, so we inserted Tom in the game, and you know that's what you bring a transfer in for. Uh, we knew that he had big time talent, and uh, hopefully he can continue to run the ball for us the rest of the year. Now we're not done with Spells. You know, Spells is going to be a great back for us, but he has to learn the importance of holding on to the football. Like you said, that's what you expect from a transfer. You don't bring a transfer in to develop them as much, do you? No, you no. To come and, ready. and you'll see that. You saw that from all three of the guys. Stephen Hopkins had a couple pretty good runs. Greg White came in and closed the game out for us. So we really expect to get a lot out of those guys this year. You know, Martin Stevenson had a good game too. Uh, and, and you know, we want to be heavy at the tailback position. You know, we got a healthy appetite for the run. Well, we could not throw the ball tonight. The conditions didn't allow that. I mean, you know, Michael is a much better quarterback than what you saw tonight. But uh, when we we just kind of dug our cleats in and decided to just hey, go ground chuck there for a minute. Speaking of the conditions, how much did they play a role in the turnovers? A lot, a lot. I mean, it, it was on both sides of the ball, but it doesn't matter. They played in the same conditions we did. Uh, they turned the ball over more than we did, but we got to do a better job of securing the football. Uh, maybe we, we're spoiled by having an indoor facility. Uh, when it starts to rain, we always try it in there. So we may end up, if it rains this week, getting some rain practices in. What about the penalties? Penalties suck. Excuse me. I don't know if I can say that. Uh, I was really disappointed with the, with our penalty situation, especially the controllable penalties, guys. What happened with us tonight, uh, penalty-wise, that falls solely on my shoulders. We were an undisciplined football team at times. We had too many pre-snap penalties, and those things killed a lot of drives. We can't have those pre-snap penalties if we want to be a championship football team. That's totally unacceptable, and I accept full responsibility for that. Offense started slow. Defense did not. Talk about them. Well, it's a defensive job not to lose the game. You know, offensive job to score points. Uh, defensively, I thought they bowled up and played well tonight. But, you know, offensively, we struggled. Defense did its job holding them out of the end zone. I think the only points they scored was on the uh, interception for a touchdown. So uh, it was great to see the defense come out in a dominant fashion like they did tonight and play well. Coach, good is to get some springs for, for your twos in the fourth quarter. How do you think it's going to benefit you going down, down the road? Well, we've got to get those guys some experience. They got a drive going there. They drove the ball down the field. We inserted some ones back in there. But then our twos finished the game for us. That's great because when you look out there on those twos, there was a bunch of young guys. You saw about probably five or six true freshmen playing at that point. So it's great to get that kind of experience for those guys. That's invaluable uh, for our future. And special teams coach, you kick or miss a field goal early, extra point. Is, is, is that the weather or that just he's had a bit off? I think it had a lot to do with the weather and the hole. Uh, he was, I think, money on the rest of his extra points for the rest of the night. Uh, Lane Clark even got in there and, and kicked one late in the game, my freshman kicker. I thought he kicked the ball off well uh, due to the conditions. You know, I thought, I thought they did well. Now, our coverage was not very good. I think we've got to improve a lot on our kick coverage, but I thought our young kickers kicked the ball well tonight. Coach, thanks. Enjoy that. Enjoy this one. Get ready for the next one. Yeah, I mean, this one is behind us. We already talking about Alabama State in the locker room. We know that we can't go to Montgomery and uh, put a type of performance on that we put on tonight and expect to come out of there with a W. Uh, that's a top-notch uh, SWAT team, and if we go in there and play like we played tonight, uh, it'll be a long night for us. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.